guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Chief Dog74 and let's get into this one. So today guys we're here, it's Spain. Uh of course we had Sandovot last time and I'm a bit sorry that I wasn't able to uh grab all of the footage for it or whatever. Um but we can't dwell on that now. Um we won't be able to buy any um facility upgrades just yet since we're a bit uh poor at the moment. R and D though. Um do we have anything coming in for this race? So thirteenth and twenty fifth, so not quite nothing uh this time, but then again it's a bit of a, a shorter wait I suppose in between uh in between areas. Um let's go ahead and get this upgrade and that should be coming in on the 20 uh the 20th of may and uh it's 600 so we don't have too much points now but if we can get that uh fixed then uh we'll start to buy some engine upgrades and chassis upgrades next time um so yeah we've got them coming in now um here at Spain I am going to switch uh switch these uh during practice or uh just before qualifying um because they definitely need to be changed like seventy one percent fifty three percent sixty three percent forty five percent uh just isn't gonna be uh enough for us um so we're gonna have to change that sometime and i reckon now is the time uh to change it things with only two though i'm going to hold off from uh for a bit longer because obviously we've only got two of them uh rather than um, free for some of the others so uh, we'll just hold off on that but after practice it's time to uh, change all the things that have uh, free so the ICE uh, the MGU uh, kinetic the MGU heat and the turbocharger uh, will all change after practice because um, obviously we don't need to go super fast in practice but um, let's quickly um, add this of course we don't have too much um, so I reckon just marketing would be nice to get a bit of uh, rep for the team um, and yeah on to, uh, on to Barcelona um, it's on the right track for me I don't feel like um, too bad or too good so um yeah we'll just see how practice goes and then i should hopefully see you uh at qualifying where we'll have our new parts into play or uh the new ICE and stuff like that so yeah we're back unfortunately the same mistake happened with qualifying this time um but we qualified p17 and went up to p16 um strategy as usual and let's get into this race um so here we go the five red lights here at spain and it's lights out and this is a really really good start for us we get uh, a good launch against Givnazzi and Raikkonen we even get a good launch against Hamilton as so we go to the outside to try and pass Norris and uh, we do just that and uh, very close to uh, the two uh, racing points there but uh, as we go a bit wide here now Hamilton is starting to uh, have a fight with us again um, we do just get ahead for the time being but he's back at us again um, and into this corner we do just about get the move done there so that was uh, very good let's have a look at that Reese uh, at the start again um, 
of course uh, we started a bit behind so not in our necessarily best position and we do just graze the grass there but it's very wide around that corner and I think Hamilton also made a contact with Ricardo. we'll have a look at that uh, quickly um, but yeah here's this uh, fight from the TV camera um, a bit of back and forth I suppose um, but I reckon because uh, uh, we changed the um, we changed the uh, engine or the component parts um, so I think that's what made us go a bit faster than some of the other cars um, but yeah it does look like a side pod was grazed we'll have a quick look at, uh, at it from Hamilton's wing and uh, yeah that was a uh, pretty close to Hamilton losing his front wing but we go for the move against Perez and just squeeze in there I was kind of just uh, trying to make sure he knew where I, I was but uh, okay the pass is done let's have a quick look at that as well um, decent overtake for us and you'll see why in a minute um, why I'm doing a lot of these uh, a lot of these pieces as we make a massive dive bomb on Ricardo and Stroll um, so we'll have a quick look at that as well because that was uh, quite the dive bomb a bit far back um, do make a bit of contact with Ricardo uh, as well as also taking out the pole with us as well um, but yeah that would be a, a, a bit unexpected for uh, a driver um, we'll have a quick look at it from Stroll's point of view and uh, yeah, a graze there. Um, but you know, it's racing. We got the job done, um, and we're up into P7. So we've almost made nine positions uh, just from the opening lap. Um, so obviously that uh, that new power unit uh, component part of the ICE and stuff being refreshed has obviously also refreshed the car as well. So definitely happy about that one and um, uh, well yeah just very nice to see here that we can actually get some overtakes um, some overtakes done um, but science is looking pretty quick so I'm not sure if we're going to really ever overtake him here um, but let's just have a look at that on board uh, of Hamilton when we were fighting on the first lap so um, I go quite wide there and he uh, sees the line, he looks like he makes a little wobble there and uh, he has to, he takes the inside line and uh, almost squeezes us out on the outside but we keep ourselves in, go for the inside and uh, we squeeze him a bit and he just backs off there so uh, not too much that uh, Hamilton could do um, Hamilton did qualify fairly high though but he did get a grid penalty so if you're questioning why he's in a ninth, that's um, that's why. Um, I think he's in ninth. I know he's in tenth at the moment, um, but I think he does get past uh, Perez eventually. Um, but the reason why I was doing so much of that is because this race was a fairly dull one, I suppose. The only the only action was really at the start, which is why. I I paid so much attention to it um, but our car just isn't fast enough to catch uh, sights unless we were perhaps on the open lap but it is good to see that we are fighting um, racing points here um, but of course lap 5 then and uh, the cars in front are going in for their pits which does make us just uh, for this lap to come out in fourth and um, then of course here we go to make our own pit stop here uh, it is a soft to medium so uh, the one stop of course but I'm on a 25% race um, so that's why you often see one stop so if there was a two stop I'd be highly surprised um, but in we come then and uh, it's a fairly quick pit stop but a bit of an error on my part uh, where I actually don't release the clutch quite as quickly as uh, perhaps I should have 
Um, so I'd say 0.2 seconds of that was me just trying to release a, a clutch again. Um, but again, just an update, lap 9. And uh, there's yellow flags behind us actually, I forgot about this. Um, and uh, we'll see just in a minute, uh, just about now I'd say. Or oh, uh, a little bit ahead. Uh, there we go, Roman Grosjean, so of course our rival is uh, out of the race. Um, and here's, here's kind of how he did it, he sort of just really slowed down some engine failure or uh, perhaps even his ICE was too warm. Um, that would explain why we made so many overtakes, perhaps the AI haven't really uh, refreshed their car so much. We'll just have a listen on board just in case it was something but uh... he goes around that corner and it sound, sounded not necessarily flat out there as uh, it usually was um, and uh, he kind of just pulls up in a position here um, I think it could have been maybe a safety car because of how that area is fairly dangerous but Apparently not. Um, lap 12 here though, and uh, again, the gap was already 3 seconds. Um, but the gap behind us though, with Stroll and Hamilton, is uh, closing in quite quickly. That shot just really shows you it there. And again, later on um, in this race, uh, Stroll and Hamilton starting to pressurise me. You can see how much of a gap, it, uh, or how little of a gap there is uh, starting to form there, so I was getting a bit worried um, but lucky as the checker flag comes along uh, it will be P7 for us and they can't quite overtake us just now um, but um, driver of the day for us then and we'll have just a quick look behind us um, at what happened there so um, it was a uh, you know a pretty uh, pretty small gap I'd say about a lap or two more and we would have been toast. So there we have it, uh, Valtteri on pole, um, and well, well done race for Valtteri I suppose. Hamilton of course was behind us so uh, technically we beat him it's but I reckon the IC, uh, the power change. unit Valtteri had uh, something to do with it. Um, standings for us, we go up uh, to 9th from 11th. Um, there's us getting the uh, drive of the day. Um, of course, I have the nickname of Blue. Um, and we're remaining in sixth for the constructors, so uh, that is pretty good for us. Racing point are close behind, though. Um, and I'm sure that they will be giving us lots of trouble uh, throughout this uh, throughout this season. But um, yeah, pretty good for us. 16 points in the bag, and it's only been six races, I think. Um, yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, <laughs> um, so let's just advance on now. Of course. Uh, 
Bottas, Verstappen and Leclerc uh, all getting the podium there. Um, but just before we uh, finish for this um, for this uh, uh, weekend, I suppose we have an interview with Claire. Um, so, question number one, and uh, I went with the power option because a we need to give a bit more love into it, but also I did feel like we were just powering through uh, at the start of the race there, so that's kind of why I did that. And uh, I choose, uh, of course, the one with uh, that affects our team acclaim the most, um, raising it, that is. And uh, again, the one uh, that helps the most with the team is the one that I'll go for because in these early stages we need to get uh, more money from sponsors which you can only get um, from having lots more acclaim. I think the next one is 10 so it will be a bit bigger than usual. So there we have it then. Uh, Spain, I suppose it kind of felt a bit like Hungary really I mean um, it's kind of like as well also I suppose it's like Monaco where um, except for the uh, opening lap we kind of didn't really get any overtakes done because uh, we were too far away and the cars behind us couldn't particularly catch us um, but we get to level 5 in our claim um, and our teammates still stays at level 5 our team a claim did go up to level 7 um, and of course we did get both of the uh, sponsor goals done they were fairly easy ones as well um, and that will bring us up to a total of 2.8 million so an upgrade I reckon for facility will be coming uh, for this next race or next weekend whatever you want to uh, whatever you want to call it um, and of course the next weekend round 7 is Monaco um, and I've got a special livery uh, for that one which will we uh, I think um, if it looks good enough we'll be using throughout uh, throughout this uh, season but um, we do have the sponsor renewal to look forward to next time uh, a lot of activity space as well um, of course we're going to be getting a facility upgrade um, the R&D tree uh, will have two upgrades to it be uh, before the next race um, of course we don't need to change the power unit weather we've got the new sponsor renewal uh, to do um, and also the standings uh, of course we bumped up to ninth in uh, the driver standings and uh, we stay in sixth for the constructors um, so if you did enjoy though uh, be sure to hit the like button um, if you want to go the extra mile or the extra victory lap then go ahead and subscribe um, comment on anything you enjoyed uh, and perhaps even uh, which upgrade I should do for the facility of course I'm just scrolling through them right now but um, this has been Chief Dog 74 here um, a great Spain race uh, at least for the start of it anyway and uh, Monaco is next but uh, until then I'll see you next time <laughs>